Yes, and that's the way we're kicking off Send It Sunday this week. Cannonball! Now that is a proper cannonball. Tom uh, has just spent the summer working in Vasiliki. Well, I guess he's still there. And he's been working on his forward loop. So as you can tell by the opening video, it's pretty painful right now. And uh, the other attempts he sent me... <laughs> yes, they're pretty similar. <laughs> Can you relate to those forward loops? What does he need to change? We're going to get onto that in a bit. Um, but I have had a thought. So here in Portugal, we've got a flat water beach. It's windy, same as Vas, but there's not many waves. To learn to forward loop, it's really helpful if you've got a wave. Now, this is a shout out to any engineer out there. Is it possible to create a white water kind of bubble that you could hit. You know, like, I mean, a jet ski is maybe extreme, but you use the jet to push up some sort of, you know, you don't want to be towing around a boat, but some way of projecting water. I don't know. Am I just talking out my ass? Is that possible where you could create some little jet of water? It wouldn't need to be much, but just a little stunt ramp, which was always there. And then you could take it to flat water spots. I don't know. Am I going mad? Anyway, so my tip is find some waves. It definitely helps having a focus point. Um, and I'm going to come on to this next guy because actually this, when I'm talking about the wave, it will definitely help visualize it because he said he has just landed some of his best forwards ever. Yeah, this is Michael. And how is that? I mean, that is absolutely spot on technique. Says he's an avid viewer of the channel, watched all the videos, and he was pretty much there, but he just needed this extra tip to get over the line. And it didn't come from me. No, it came from one of his mates. And the tip was pull or go for the forward loop when your mass foot gets to the lip of the chop. Now this works on small ones, he says, not on big ones, but on the on the little wave or the chop, pull when your mass foot is on the lip. And I think that's quite a cool tip. And I've always said this on all the Send It Academies we do, you, you know, I can give you tips. Uh, you can go through technique videos, but sometimes you don't know when that tip is gonna come, who it's gonna come from. Ask everyone because you never know how they say it, the timing of when they say it, it can be really useful. So maybe that tip is gonna help a few of you guys out there. If it's flat water, it's pretty tricky because you're trying to generate all this thing. So going back to Tom at the beginning, <laughs> he is pulling in and going over the top. You gotta go around the side. So I would suggest learning to body drag and doing those body drag forwards. You can also do it like in a beach start scenario, but I think the body drag is good because you've obviously got no fear. You're obviously doing it full speed, but if you do it in the body drag scenario, you can send it around the side and then you will get that, you know, the right rotation for the sail. Cause at the moment, if you did that on the beach, you know, you just pulled in, the sail just hit the deck. You've got to throw the sail forwards and get it to go around the side. We're going to do more videos. Um, but talking of forward loops, this guy apparently is not trying a forward loop, but just check out this thing. This is from Scotland and this is Rory. Yes, Rory Carter on the River Forth in Scotland. Check it out. I tell you what, he said that was a fail, a crash. If you watch that in slow-mo, yeah, that's a decent forward. It's 120 litre and a six metre. But notice the way the board goes in sideways, the rig comes around. You don't know it, mate. You don't know, Rory, but you are closer than you think to a forward loop. If you did that off a wave, you're going round. You are going round, my son. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, so I hope you've been uh, having a good week wherever you've been. I hope you've been getting conditions. I've been taking a look at the social media and there's a lot been going on. We've seen uh, Ricardo Campello in the Netherlands. What's he doing there? He's actually hanging out with Martin Garrix. Yeah, the famous DJ. Millions of subscribers on Instagram. Obviously millions of listens all over the world to some of his best tracks. 
he is a windsurfer. Yes, that is why Ricardo is there, I guess. Must have got introduced. But if you haven't seen it, uh, Martin Garrix has been throwing down some skills. I think in Mykonos, we had him on the channel a bit ago. Um, so yeah, I would like to take this opportunity. If you know any famous people that are windsurfers, could be actors, could be singers, could be whoever, famous other sporting you know, heroes that do other sports that also do windsurfing, let me know in the comments below. I want to know who are the famous windsurfers out there. I mean, I, I think I featured a video on the channel years ago now with Dire Straits, and that is just the crazy video. I might put the link below because he's talking about, uh, you know, playing to, you know, thousands and thousands of people. And he said he just wanted to go windsurfing. So cool when you hear that about the sport that you're involved in, because you know, you know yourself, like it's super hyped. But when you hear guys that have got all this adrenaline doing something that no one, you know, everyone dream of, and all they're thinking about is going windsurfing, just so cool. So cool. Um, okay, so and also if you've got any videos, send them in. We are back to send it Sunday now, although this might be Monday because I've just been doing uh, a bit of uh, foil surfing. How did it go? <laughs> Yeah, I think I think that picture sums it up. It's going to take a while, going to take a while, but it's a, a slow progression. I might give you an update one day. I know it's not windsurfing, but it could be quite funny. Uh, we're obviously still running the body drag competition. Yes, O'Neill are giving away a couple of suits uh, to a few of you lucky people out there. And we've got some new entries this week. Who are we going to kick off with? I think we're going to kick off in Australia. Uh, and this is uh, our Kim. Yeah, our Kim is based in New South Wales, 55 years old, started windsurfing in 1978. That's 44 years ago. I know that because I was born in 1978. So fair play, mate. And the old school boys, they've got some decent body drags. And our Kim is no, no exception. Check this. Oh, that is an absolute beauty. I'll tell you what, he isn't stopping there. No, he's got the body drag, but what? Chuck this on the end for good measure. Yeah, back wind jive. We're talking old school. We've got to bring the old school back. I know I see all this new freestyle stuff. I think it puts a few people off. Bring back the carving stuff, the body drags. It's so nice and flowing when you do it. I think we've got to bring it back to being cool because some of the, the best feelings in windsurfing can come from carving tricks, in my opinion. I'm old. I'm old, I know. Uh, so our Kim, very nice, mate. We like in those body drags. We like in those. Uh, and I'll tell you what, this next one gets A plus for effort. Yeah, just check out this. Yeah, this is 15-year-old Ripper, uh, Constantine. Now, Stefan sent this in. Just look how windy it is. I mean, yeah, it's absolutely crank. And I think this is Tenerife, looks like Tenerife, and they're blasting around. So I'm watching this video, uh, and I see there's another video attached. So I'll play this other video. Now, just check out this for commitment. He's absolutely hanging on, and he goes for his first body drag. <laughs> Yes, mate. Now that, I love it. I mean, Stefan, I think, did pretty well to avoid the sail. <laughs> just like near miss. But just check out the entry to that body drag. That has to be one of the best jumping entries. Like full both legs off in the air, going for the, like the Superman launch into that body drag. Just couldn't hold the power when the, when the resistance hits in the water. But fair play, mate. We love that. I absolutely love it. So keep your entries coming in. We're going to be running it all the way through August. The O'Neill competition, like I say, chance to win wetsuits. They are up for grabs. I'm going to pick some out at the end of the month. It doesn't mean it's going to be the best one. It could be the craziest crash. Could be the best effort. I definitely think you've got a chance there, mate. Um, let's see. Let's see how the competition goes in. Don't forget, send it at Windsurfing TV. Uh, windsurfing.tv is the email drop. Dropbox or we transfer for big files. Otherwise, you can just email them through. Uh, we've also got to thank the sponsors. SavanShop.com. Yes, the SavanShop.com. Oh, sponsor it again. Send it a Sunday uh, for the rest of the year and maybe further on. So keep your eyes out. There will be maybe some prizes coming. Uh, we also heard Duotone are also going to be doing some stuff as well. So uh, keep your eyes peeled and we will have the winners of the F2 competition. I'm still waiting for one of them to contact me properly. But uh, stay tuned. That will be uh, probably announced this week. Um...
Where are we at? We're going to do a little roundup of social media. That's actually what I was going to do because I've seen some crazy stuff going around. I've seen uh, the foilers going absolute ham. Oh, yes. Check out Jordi Vonk. I've been noticing him all over my Instagram at the moment and he is flying. You know, I've seen some of the foiling before and you think, hmm, hasn't got that kind of slalom edge, that like that real quick edge. Some of his videos this week, I've looked at them gone, whoa, okay, something's changing there. They are going flat out, it looks scary. Couple of uh, crashes, I think. Yeah, a couple of crashes <laughs> from what I could see. Uh, and apparently they're trying to lay down the jibes as well. No video, I did try and get some video, um, but uh, we'll have to wait and see whether that's just, uh, you know, just for the picture or it is possible to lay down a foil jibe. I would like to see it, that is for sure. Um, what else? I've seen uh, Bapti for uh, correct, just seen Clue First 360. Now, Victor Fernandez has been doing them all summer, but good to see the young guys, you know, throwing it down, mixing it up. I actually saw um, a kind of a weird like Clue First forward from Costa on one of his videos. He's been fingering out loads of videos recently. Um, so yeah, lots going on definitely in the windsurfing scene. But before we close this show out, we have got a section to do. What is it? Well, it is of course. Surfagens ja. Surfagens ja. Yes, the Surfagen ja is back for another episode. Who have we got? Well, I think we should kick off with these young nippers. Yeah, this is Kala and Ingmar, 11 years old. How's that? How is that? Fully loaded to the hilt. They're getting ready for the future. Even got the trailer going on. There's a skateboard in there. There's all the toys. And that's a lake just at the back of the house. So how cool is that? I mean, that definitely deserves a surf wagon uh, shout out for sure. Engineers in the making. Maybe they can make this standing wave of mine. Have any ideas, boys? Let me know, let me know. Um, and next up, and this is a great one, this next uh, surf wagon traveled from the south coast of England all the way to the top of Scotland and then to the island of Tyree. Now you're thinking, yeah, all right, Ben, that's a car, but just check out this thing. Yes, the old Morris Miner. Now I know how unreliable these cars are because my sister had one. It was always in the blimmin' garage or the moggy for the people who are fans of them. Um, yeah, it's not the easiest car to drive from the South Coast all the way to Aberdeen, apparently it was, but they were going up for the student windsurfing nationals. So you've got to make the trip, haven't you? You've got to make the trip. What did they have on the roof? Well, I'll tell you what they had on the roof. A Tiga Wave 250, they had a Sunset Slalom, uh, they had a Wave Weapon Custom and some asymmetric custom board as well. Yeah, so a big thanks to Mike Geary for sending that in. That was taken back in 1990. And I think it was Pat who was driving the car. So big respect, mate. I've, like I said, I've been in that car. My sisters took me to the beach now and I always thought there's no way we're going to make it in this thing. But it, it, it did the job. It definitely did the job. So there we go. That is it for this week. There's only one thing left to say that no matter where you are in the world, don't forget to send it. So anyone who's made it this far, well done. Uh, you're probably members. Uh, and these are the newest members to join the channel. These guys have chipped in some money to support the channel. It does make a big difference. I don't want to sound like some, you know, beggar or something like that, but definitely your contributions help with motivation. Cause I think, well, if people are, you know, chipping in a bit of money to support it for the year, you know, 20, 30 quid could be 50 quid. I know some of you put in more than that. Um, whatever it's worth to you. If you like the entertainment, you enjoy it. It's definitely, uh, it's helps us out to support it so these are the new members thanks you legends uh, and we are trying to give away more prizes We've spoke to more brands and they are keen as well because they like what we're doing here and they want to help us uh, help you guys which help the whole big circle so there you go uh, that's how we're looking subscribe to the channel uh, I've got some how-to videos coming up push loops can do some store forwards some stuff that I've done in Pozo and we will be doing some flat water stuff so stay tuned <laughs>